moving. Why is he not moving? I don't know, Barbie. It's been days. I'm scared. Look at his eyes. Is there someone we should call? Maybe a doctor or a priest? What's up? Ah! Ah! Skipper, you scared us. What are you even doing here? Oh, he's still not moving? My bad. I taught him how to buy dolls for thrift on Facebook, and now he's just waiting for those dolls he ordered to arrive. It should be here right about now. <gasps> it's here! Why does he still live with us? I recently tried buying secondhand dolls on a local Facebook group and some local online stores, and now it's all piled up. So now I'm gonna show you dolls that I've thrifted. Some are still in box, and some are random fashion packs. Here we go! The first doll I got for cheap is this Play All Day Kitchen Barbie from 2005. She had the hip to be square outfit on, but I removed it. Sorry. I got her because of that outfit and her facial screening. She has such a throwback face, very 2000s. I especially love how her eyes are designed. She's just so pretty. Her hair is still okay. It's soft. Probably just need some comb. Her articulation is pretty basic, though she had bent and snapped knees. I'm gonna give her this dress I also thrifted. It's the second dress for Barbie from the Life of the Dreamhouse line. Let's see how she looks. Oh, it's perfect for her. I also gave her this hot pink heels. Let me just accessorize her a bit. And done! She's such a gorgeous doll, she just needed a nice outfit. That's all. Next up. This is Barbie of Swan Lake Prince Ken AA version. And he's wearing Rio Steven doll swim trunks. I love his smile. I got him because I thought his face was so handsome and the face screening looks clean. And that hair is rooted on. That's very impressive. Very rare for Ken dolls these days, especially this short of a hairstyle. His hair needs trimming, I'm gonna do that later. And these shorts look great too! His head articulation is different from the current ones. He has articulation at the waist. Wow. Oh. And he has a bend and snap knee. He has flat, rubbery feet, so the question is, can he stand on his own? And that's a no. No, he can't. He's such a handsome doll, and I got him because his face is just an, a nice throwback. And now he makes a great beach doll. I also got the Happy Families Allen doll. What? He came with his original outfit, which is nice. Very old, but still nice. I've always wanted to collect dolls from the Happy Families line. The grandma, the grandpa, and Alan and Midge. This Alan doll is the start of that. In the meantime, let's take a look at him. I love how the older Ken heads are sculpted. The details, especially in that smile, is just gorgeous. Very rare to see on modern dolls. He has a rooted on brown hair that needs washing and styling. This is his shirt, it's very old and in need of washing too. His pants had a stain, probably peed himself. I'm gonna wash that one too. He also came with a pair of black shoes. He has a painted on silver ring in his left hand, that's so cute. He has more articulations than the previous doll and he has a bend and snap knee. He's gonna make a great addition to my growing secondhand dolls collection. I also bought this Ken Fashionista number no. 6, aka My Mini Me. His face paint was kinda chipped and dirty, but at least I have a spare. Now I have a spare Mini Me, just in case I do some crazy experiments. He didn't come with any outfits, so I gave him this black boxers. Let's put him in this summer outfit. Oh, he looks nice. He has the standard fashionista body and articulation. This doll is kinda hard to find nowadays, especially one in good condition. 
and I'm glad I was able to get him at such a great price. So I was in the middle of editing this video when all of a sudden, some more dolls arrived. Ah! Here's President Barbie from the year 2000. Oh wow, she, she looks very formal. To be honest, I only got her because of her outfit, but she's still a nice doll. Now she did not come with her original shoes and and her face has these tiny bite marks. I'll ask Reddit about how to fix that. She's rocking that short hair though, that presidential bob and that swoop bangs. She came with matching pearl earrings and a necklace. Her blue blazer has snaps instead of velcro, love that. Her blazer has a printed on sticker that says Barbie for President. So vote for Barbie you guys. There's a tiny bit of damage in her stockings. But other than that, I love this blazer and pencil skirt set. Now let's see if this fits with a much more newer Barbie. Um, yeah, it still kind of fit. Not exactly fitted in some areas, but it still looks great. The shoulders are a bit wider and the skirt is not as fitted, but it suits the new Barbie body. The stockings, however, are a little loose. The old body probably has a thicker leg than the newer one. Putting that aside, I think any Barbie rocking a presidential look is so stunning. The pearl earrings were hard to get off and you have to remove the head to remove this necklace, so. She looks so classy and elegant. Would you vote for this president, Barbie? Let me know in the comment section below. I also got this Hawaii midge from 1999. Now this is not her original outfit. She originally came with a blue swimsuit. I got her because she's midge and she has such a sweet face. I'm glad she has bangs to cover that wide forehead. Her hair is kind of short, but it's still super soft. Needs brushing, that's okay. Her articulation is not that good. It's limited, but honestly, I don't care. I just bought her for her face. This Mitch sculpt reminds me of the Mitch from the Happy Families line. Speaking of Happy Families, um, is this the kitchen? I just want to grab some. Wow. Hi, I'm Alan. I'm Mitch. Have we met before? No, but I would have remembered you. <laughs> yes, I got her because I got Alan, but now they're together. Yay! I might search for her original outfit or the original doll herself as well as other older midge outfits. I'll be on the lookout. And now back to the main video. Here we are, four random secondhand dolls I bought online. I absolutely love them all for different reasons and I'm so glad they're in good condition. These two are my childhood dolls. They're not in the best condition, but they're very special to me. This is hip to be square Barbie. Her accessories are not the original ones. And pretty flowers Barbie. This dress is a customized version. I've had these two ever since I was a child. I want to find them both in box and in great condition, but instead I found different versions of them online. Here's hip to be square Barbie, the orange version. There are four of them, pink, orange, blue, and green. But I got her because I love her color. There's something about this doll that screams 2000s and I love it. She's never been removed in the box. There's probably dust in there. But I might not unbox her. The box and how she's displayed is already great. Maybe I'll unbox her soon. But today I'll just enjoy her as she is. Here's the back of a box, which shows the four different dolls. And here's Pretty Flowers Barbie, the pink version. This packaging is so nostalgic. And what I love about this doll is that her look and her dress is super soft, super simple and very pretty. 
it's in the name. She looks like she's just in a park, sitting by the flowers, looking cute with her bangs. And here's the back of the box, which shows some more Barbie dolls from this era. They're all so pretty! These dolls are very nostalgic, and I'll be on the lookout for more versions of them. But I don't want to pay those eBay prices. I want to unbox them so bad! Why does it smell like an old cabinet in here? Hey, John. Hey, other John. Hey, I have a few unopened fashion packs. Want to wear them with me? Uh, sure, that sounds fun. All right, everybody out of the room. We're changing. I bought these fashion packs months ago, and I still haven't had the chance to open them. So I thought maybe we can open them now. Here's the first Ken fashion pack. It says that it's made out of recycled plastic. Here it is on my mini-me. It comes with a blue shirt with white and light blue clouds printed on. It has black stitches at the edge and it velcros at the back. There's also this orange fanny pack with sculpted on details. The pack also came with this purple shorts with white stitching and it also velcros at the back. I think the short looks cute, also something I would wear in real life. We also have another Ken fashion pack. This one is also something I would definitely wear in real life. It comes with a dark blue face mask for Ken-sized dolls. This mint green and white striped cardigan with printed red, white, and blue details. And a varsity lettering that says K. And a simple pair of orange shorts. This one looks nice, very preppy. I wish the top was made from like a jacket-like fabric though, but it still looks cute. Lastly, we have this Barbie travel accessories pack. It comes with a face mask, a purple cat neck pillow, headphones, a yellow wristwatch, clear purple visor, gold colored shades, a pink camera with strap, a bottle of sunscreen, a Barbie sized passport, a blue bag with sculpted on scarf that's painted orange, and a pair of pink slippers. This accessory pack is perfect if your dolls want some stuff that's fit for travel. And that tiny passport is so cute. I'm so glad I get to open these fashion packs now. And super bonus that I got them at a discounted price. Here we have my three main dolls that I've customized for this channel. Life in a Dreamhouse dolls are pretty rare and pretty pricey, especially when you find them sold at a very new inbox condition. That's the main reason why I just restyled these dolls. I think they need a little updating. This can is from one of the fashionistas that I have. Now I bought this basic beach can from years ago. I like the hairstyle on this one, so I thought maybe he's perfect for my main Life in a Dreamhouse dolls. They have kind of a similar face screening, but the beach can has more of a pink lip color. I don't know, I'm, I'm torn between these two. The hair on this can is much closer to Ken's hair in the series. Here he is in Ken's clothes, and I don't think that he's a good fit. I think the current Ken fits more. Aw, I'm so sorry, beach can. So that's it, I'm keeping this current can as my Life in a Dreamhouse can. Maybe I'll use this beach can for other stuff. He looks more like Ken from Dreamhouse Adventures. So that's it, he's staying as Ken. This Raquel head was also from a basic beach line. I just gave her a made to move body, but now I have to let her go. Because I'm so lucky that I found the original Life in a Dreamhouse Raquel. I got her for a very low price because she didn't have her complete outfit and accessories on. Her face and rooted eyelashes are still in good condition. The doll herself is great. She has that Frakel smirk going on. She also came with this white undershirt and a skirt combo. So I'll put this black jacket that I have, since I don't have the gold one like in the series. 
She'll also have these black pants from a Made to Move doll. And a pair of red heels, Raquel's color of course. Here she is with all the additional stuff and her outfit looks kinda close to what she was wearing in the series. I'm so happy that I finally got her. Again, I was editing this video and her outfit came. Wait, hold on. Here it is! Ah! The dress is from a Talking Raquel doll, which she has definitely wore in some episodes. I'm so happy I found her! Now let's try it on. She is perfect. She's Raquel. I am over the moon with this one. She's just like in the series. The gold necklace, the bracelet, the black high heels, and this dress. It's perfect. From now on, she'll be the main Raquel doll for my videos. This made to move Barbie is one of the earlier dolls that I got to buy as an adult. So she's kind of special to me. I bought her a Life in a Dreamhouse inspired outfit just so she can look like Barbie from the series. And now, I just found the original Life in a Dreamhouse doll. What? I found this doll in great condition, almost like it was fresh out of the box. Her face is so beautiful. She's got that bright blue doll eyes and a wide smile. She has on her silver earrings and a matching necklace. She has on her original and iconic outfit. A metallic bracelet. And her pink ribbon heels. I am so happy right now knowing that I finally have this doll that I've always wanted to have ever since, ever since I watched the show back in 2012, I think. She also has her pink purse with a huge sculpted on bow. This doll will totally be the main Barbie for my videos. I love, love, love her so much. But what about these dolls? Don't worry, they'll be playing new characters. But for Life in a Dreamhouse characters, I'm gonna be using these dolls. They're gonna be my main trinity or something. As for me to move Barbie, I picked up this specific outfit for her. Now she's my Barbie that's inspired by her look on the Dreamhouse Adventure series. Now I have the glam pinktastic Barbie and the vlogger girl power Barbie. And this Ken is gonna be her Ken. And there we have it! So many random dolls and random packs. Do you have any dolls you've thrifted? Comment down below. Like, share, and subscribe, and as always, see you next time at the Dream House!